So I thought I'd spend some time looking at the code on this WaveShare device. I was quite interested in the way it's all set up. Uh, looking at the demo code, all they seemed to be doing was using an SPI connection to drive this screen. And most of the information to do it is already built in into this one module. You see it's got this code which is actually a demo for the module. So that's what's running now and we can see the we can see the buttons working. Hey, by the way, do you like I've got the old voice out? I've gone to OG SpiderMath MicroPython again. For me to port some of my code to this, most of my code has been running on the Pico Explorer or the Pico display. This works slightly differently. This is the last bit of code that I was working on in my previous video. And this was for the Pico Explorer. If I run this as it stands, just like that, obviously straight away I have this problem. No module named Pico Explorer. So let's let's save this onto the Pico itself to begin with. So I'm going to call it just this filled triangle. All right, so this is the code that I want to modify and this is the module that I need to call. So I think, as you saw, I need to save that module onto the Pico itself and I have done. So first of all, instead of using the Pico Explorer, let's try importing this Pico LCD 1.3. And what I think is because this is saved to the root of the flash memory on here, it should call this module. So let's try running that to begin with. And it comes up syntax error. I mean, there's various different ways to do this. I can import it as display. Let's not, let's not import it at all. Let's try doing that. That's still doing it. So I think the problem here is that the file name, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing else wrong. Why is there a syntax error? Surely it should say can't find it. So what happens if I do Pico LCD and run that? Right, now it says no module named Pico LCD. So let's try saving this again. File save as, and I'll call it um, Pico LCD. And then let's see if it will import that module. Don't think I need to call it Pi. Well, let's see whether that works. All right, excellent. So name display isn't defined. So let's say as display. And this might not work, but that would be the easiest way to port the code if all these other bits work. So let's run that. All right, so module has got no get width. So this mustn't have anything that says get width in it. So we know that this is 240 by 240. I can just, and I, I might not even need that height and width to be honest, but let's just put 240 by, and 240 there and see whether it gets a bit further. So that was on line six. So run. Okay, now module object has no attribute in it. Now this here does have this automatic in it, but I'm not sure whether I can call that directly. And it sets a display buffer up, but I don't actually need that. If you look at this, it doesn't, it says there's a frame buffer that gets pushed into it, but I think it creates that itself. Not 100% sure. So let, let's just for the moment, so I don't think I've ever seen any code with with in it like that. I think that's that's the double underscore. Well, let's see whether that let's see whether that works. No, it has no. Th so I, I can't I can't do it that way. I can't call that directly. So um, I think that that is a sort of protected attribute for when you create them. So let's let's just at the moment comment out that code because I think it already creates a display buffer internally somehow. So let's uh, let's run this. Okay, no attribute create pen. So is there's, there's nothing that's similar to that display show. But down here, they don't create a pen, but they use this LCD white. I think I saw that right LCD white. So it's defined there in self. So what happens if I go, wait, let's not bother with the pens for the moment. We'll come back to that. So let's also um, copy those out and get a bit further on. Let's see what happens next. Okay, module object has no attribute set pen. All right, so where uh, that's at line 97. All right, so that's past that. We're now looking at that. Okay, so we've got no pen. We know that uh, we've got a display clear. Don't know. And we've 
we can't set pen to purple so in fact let, let's go back and look at this look at their demo so this is the bit where it creates the screen yeah clears the screen and it defines itself hmm so I'm going to copy that and put that down here and see whether I can get that to run so if I go display don't need that don't think will that work module 101 has no set pen okay so but has anything changed on that no that's not running so I would expect that to clear so something oh let's put that back where it should be that might be the problem um, that might be running on the loop above let's try that no it's still not cleared the screen and it says it's got no attribute oh right display's got no attribute fill you know let's looking at that let's try and follow that example for initiate initializing the screen so up here let's get rid of the word display right so we're just importing that pico lcd does that still work yeah so it's still saying now it's a display is not defined down here but that's fine so let's say the lcd is lcd 13 inch don't worry about that let's set that back to lcd gets a bit further lcd 13 inch isn't defined oh do i have to do let's do can i do pico 13 inch there yes oh and that's gone clear excellent all right so if i want that to go to black i don't have a there wasn't a black defined was there mm. Let's just try copying that, get rid of LCD white um, and put that in. Will that work? Well, that's not changed anything. LCD show, it did do LCD show, didn't it? Yeah, so that LCD show is still the same. It doesn't seem to um, make any difference with that for the white. So let's leave that where, let's leave that where it was. Leave it at that. So now we've got, so display set pen again, we're not doing that. In fact, let's just remove some of this other bit. All I want this to do is um, create the triangle and fill the triangle. Um, we can't do that there. That display has got to be, well, display show. Right, so that's fine. I don't need that. And let's just put, I'll clear it first and let's clear it down there as well. So hopefully that's got rid of all of the issues with the display so what should this do well it should just fill the screen white which is similar to what it is there so let's just run that just check whether that works right display isn't defined but that's somewhere else i need that lcd and this is in line 103 oh no sorry 103 um fill bottom triangle 74 74 Okay, right. So I've been looking at this and in a standard frame buffer, there's not a pixel span, but there is H line and V line, horizontal line and V line. So I'm doing a horizontal line here. So I think that's all I need, but there's also a color. So let's just, I'm going to specify the color there. So let's take, take it LCD blue. Uh, the, there's a color at the end of it. I think the rest will be okay. So 74, but I need to add a, add a color to the end. So that's X, Y plus the length. And then I've got to do LCD blue for the color, let's say. So if I run that, now what happens? Um, is that the same thing? Okay, 64. Eight. So it's a similar thing in, in line 88. It hasn't updated the screen because it crashed before I did show. So this has got to be LCD. That's got to be H line, horizontal line, and add LCD blue again. So let's try that. And there we go. Blue triangle. I suppose I could modify this slightly just thinking about it. I mean, this is the module. I don't really want to mess with it. But um, because I use it a lot, I could just add a black to this. Black. And uh, let's assume the black is just, I think it is, isn't it? Not, 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 not. And save that. Go back to this bit and then change that to LCD black. I don't think I need anything else. Yeah, because that's just the clear routine. So let's see if that works. Yeah, okay, so I've now got a 
quite hard to see a little blue triangle can you see that uh, just about yeah and of course I changed that to white so I might need to if I'm modifying this pipe the color in which I think the original Java code that I was converted this from actually had a color on this line so there's another thing on the display buffer there's a v-line as well I'm just going to change that just to show you v-line doesn't do much but it'll mess the triangle up just to show that it was a similar thing for vertical but obviously the algorithms don't work if you draw in a horizontal line so there this display definitely has its advantages firstly like the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy it's slightly cheaper but also I was thinking all this time I've been doing it, it hasn't crashed. When I'm using the Pico Explorer, it seems to crash all the time, but this hasn't been crashing, has it? This has just been working, behaving itself and working all this time. So um, a good little board. If you're on a budget and you've got a Pi Pico, well, I'd get one of these instead of the um, Pico display. And then we've got all of the other code in this module where we can look at how to uh, talk to the, the the various keys as well. So yeah i'm quite happy with this so this is really how to convert some of the code i've already written for the pico explorer into this wave share device so maybe you could have a go with that and uh, see what you think